Today I'm going to show you a fast and easy way to sell your music on Spotify, Apple Music and more. Hey, what's going on, my friend? Chris here from Xdown Online. Now, this week is a very special week because I am uploading our new single. I'm saying our because I'm not the only one in this project. It's myself and my good buddy, Jimmy. Um, this is our, uh, actually, this is the first single that we're uh, going to be releasing since 2011. So it's been quite a while. I did a lot of work for artists and clients, but now this time was just time for us to come back and just start by releasing one single. And that was this week. So I'm gonna show you how I did that uh, for the single to be available on streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, and so on. Now the way it works is not too complicated. You just need to deal with the online music distributor. Uh, TuneCore is one of them, CD Baby is one of them, but my favorite online music distributor is DistroKid. This is the one I used back in 2011 when I uploaded our first album. And this is what I used again this year to upload the new single. So what will DistroKid do? Very simple. It's gonna distribute my single uh, on all types of different streaming services and online stores. Now, if you wanna look them up, lucky for you, I have a special link for you. And this is the link we're gonna to use to check what we have when we go on their website. So if you follow distrokit.com slash VIP slash mixdown, that will give you a 7% off your first year of membership. So this is what we get once we're on the website and I used my link, my uh, VIP link, and we see on top that yellow, uh, yellow section where it says that I click a VIP link to get on the website. So what we get with DistroKid, like it says here, we'll get your music into Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Pandora, Amazon, Google Play, Tidal, and so on. Okay, um, now you keep 100% of your royalties iTunes and streaming services are going to keep their share of the pie first. Then they will give back to the online music distributor the balance of the earnings. And then the music distributor will give their share to, uh, to the artist. In this case, you keep 100% of that earning. Some services will keep 10 to 20% and some other services will just charge a annual fee. And this is the case with DistroKid. They will charge, uh, I think the first plan starts at $19.95 a year. Um, that is pretty, pretty cheap, okay? Um, other services will, um, uh, will charge per release. So every time you upload a new single, or an album, uh, you'll be charged yearly for that project. But with DistroKid, you only pay that yearly fee and that will include as many singles or albums as you want. And this is something that I like about DistroKid, uh, the fact that they're not gonna charge me every time I'm gonna upload one single. It's only one price that includes all releases. So that is a very good advantage. Um, now, there's uh, three different plans, okay? So let's go and check what plans do we have with DistroKid. So I'm first gonna sign in to my account. And this is what we have. Uh, the first plan is the musician plan at $19.99 a year. And the second plan is Musician Plus plan, uh, which is at $35.99 a year. Um, now, the first plan, the initial plan, uh, will include unlimited songs or uploads, albums, singles, whatever you want. Uh, you'll get the Spotify verified check mark and this is good for one band or artist. The Musician Plus plan um, at $35.99 a year is good for two artists or bands. That will include everything that the basic plan has, plus you'll get access to daily sales stats, customizable label name, release date, pre-order date, and also iTunes pricing. So you'll be able to select and choose the pricing of your choice for iTunes. Now, if you have a label and you want to cover more artists or bands, uh, you just upgrade to the label plan. Now I'm going to show you what I did to upload my single on DistroKid. 
first I click on upload, then I have the upload music page. Uh, we have the list of all the stores available uh, for my music to be, uh, to be on. Uh, next, number of songs. So I'm gonna select one because I'm uploading one single. Uh, previously released, not in my case. So this is the first time I released the song. Now, artist and band name, okay? I'm gonna select in contrast, which is the artist name in my case. Right away, DistroKid will detect that I already used that name for a previous release. So, which is perfect, because now my new single will appear alongside my first album. Then we have the release date. You can choose the release date of your choice, but this is only if you have a Musician Plus account. And same for the next few features. Um, so let's keep that at uh, June 7, 2019. Um, then what else do we have? Yeah, something that we need to know though, if we go back to the artist name. Now there's some very important notes that we need to pay attention to right below the artist name. That says only list your name stage or band name and make sure you don't use use a, um, a title that includes all caps, okay? So that can also be rejected. So just pay attention to all of those notes, very important. Uh, now we uh, went and, and did the release date. We're good, release time, 12 a.m., that's perfect. Time, synchronization. Uh, I'm gonna keep that at um, in the listener's time zone. That's the default value, that's good. Pre-order now, if you want uh, people to pre-order your song or your album, uh, you can check yes, I'm gonna check no. And then record label, um, I'm just adding mix down the records basically. Now, if you have the musician plan, the basic plan, um, DistroKid is just gonna add some DK or something like that, you know, as a record label. Okay, so just don't worry about that. Uh, album cover, this is where you're gonna upload your artwork. So let's do that. And again, there's some notes below the uh, the artwork space uh, that you need to pay attention to and uh, that I suggest you to read to make sure that your artwork is gonna be approved. Uh, now, language, English, that is good. Primary genre, I'm gonna click and look for, uh, let's go for rock, okay. Uh, secondary genre, uh, I'm gonna keep that. Uh, blank for now. Song title, this is where you're gonna enter the title of your song or album or whatever you have. Now, in my case, it's only one song, so I only have one space to enter the title. Alternative way is the song title. And this is where I'll be able to add a featured artist and all those extra details if I want to add some more details with the song title. Next, we have to upload our audio file. Um, now, DistroKid supports different types of audio files like WAV, WMA, uh, M4A, FLAC, MP3, and so on. I'm gonna use a WAV file, in my opinion, this is the best format to upload. Uh, and note that DistroKid will support a WAV file up to 96 kilohertz and 24 bits. So 96 kilohertz and 24 bit and below is gonna work, okay? Uh, anything above that will not work. Okay, so if you uh, you wanna upload a 44.1 kilohertz, 16-bit, that will work. All right, so now, in my case, um, my file is a 48 kilohertz, 24-bit. Uh, now, next, uh, song writer. I wrote this song or managed the song writer. Um, it's an original tune, that's my case. I'm gonna check that one out. Now, songwriter's name. Uh, and now we're talking about real name, not the artist name, but real name. Um, so let's click on music because it's an instrumental piece. In my case, I'm gonna add my name and then I'm gonna add another songwriter because I teamed up with my good friend, Jimmy Lae. There you go. Now, explicit lyrics, instrumental, so no. Is this a radio edit? No. Instrumental, yes. And now track price, this is where I'll be able to uh, list a price of my choice for iTunes or Google Play, Amazon, and so on. So let's go with $1.29. All right, so um, now we have extra features that we can add uh, with our submission. Um, now, those are also available with the basic plan, okay? Uh, Instagram and Facebook, this one is free. Um, add a single to Instagram music in stories, which lets Instagram users easily add your music to their posts. 
Uh, let's check this one out. Uh, next, YouTube money. Okay, that is $4.95 a year plus 20% of the earnings. This is where uh, your song has been used on some videos. Now, um, the people posting the videos will not be able to monetize the video, so you'll get the monetization of... Um, those videos basically uh now store maximizer for 7.95 a year this rocket will automatically deliver the single to new online stores and streaming services as we add them okay so you don't need to resubmit your um your song on those future services uh now shazam and iphone if you want your song to be detected by shazam or iphone siri you're at a party or something and now your song plays and you want people to use shazam to to, uh, detect which song is playing you can just check that on and uh, that's it you know 99 cents a year uh, leave a legacy now this one is very special DistroKid will never delete this single from stores due to a lapsed DistroKid membership even if you die imagine even if you die that is pretty strong your album or single will stay on platforms for life and you'll be able to collect the royalties out of this release okay for life so this is a cool feature also now uh, to finish before we uh, we upload our song and artwork uh, we need to um to check those boxes here okay uh the first one is uh, i selected youtube music as a store so i'm gonna check that one on i recorded this music and i'm authorized to sell it in stores okay so i'm just gonna click that one on also i'm not using any other artist name in my name song title album titles without approval all right and i have read and agreed to the terms of the distro kid distribution agreement yes i did and then i'm gonna click on done now i already uploaded that single okay but i did screen capture what that looks like so i'm gonna click on done and there you go that simple now my song is scheduled to be released now if i go uh, on my artist page, on my DistroKid account, on my music. And this is what I'm gonna get. Okay, now I have uh, my first album, This Is Yours, and my new single, Alternative Way. So there you go, that's a fast and easy way to sell your music on streaming services by using DistroKid. And don't forget the 7% off deal that you have on the first year of membership by following my VIP link, all right? All the details are in the description down below. Leave your comments, like and share. And if you're new here on the channel, feel free to subscribe. All right, guys, I'm going to see you next time. Bye.